What's up, LinkedIn? It's Thomas Bailey with Reload Trans Auto Relocation. Hopefully, you're having a wonderful day. Uh, we get a lot of questions as an auto relocation company about what to do with the vehicle, how to prep it, how to meet the driver, what's the process of pickup, how long will it take for delivery. Well, one of the most consistent questions that we get is, can I pack my personal items in my car when it's shipped? And the answer we'd love to say every single time is an absolute no, 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 no! What? No. No! 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 But we understand the situation that some of you or some of your transferees are in. So what we typically say is under 50 pounds. Somehow, whenever we say 50 pounds, most people forget what 50 pounds looks like, feels like. 50 pounds turns into something more like this. Holy, that escalated quickly. Typically that's what happens. We say 50 pounds, it ends up the driver can't see out the back window. The passenger seat is completely full of stuff. Number one, it's a safety hazard for the driver. Number two, uh, we're not liable for anything in this vehicle. So if something happens or rattles around and the window breaks because of it, or when somebody's passing by these trucks, the driver's not always with it. He may be eating, he may be in the bathroom, he may be sleeping or something like that. And some of the stuff that's just strategically packed in this car looks somewhat valuable somebody's passing by they may break the window trying to steal some things and if something comes up missing or a window is broken because of it but for the most part if a company allows you to ship this many things in a vehicle if somebody walks by breaks the window and reaches in here and grabs some of this stuff they're just going to say they're not liable and oh okay if we say 50 pounds keep it as something very simple maybe something like this one small box won't hurt anyone. Typically, we'd ask you to have that in the trunk. If you don't have a trunk, just put it in the back. Uh, I have it on the on the back seat here so you could see it nice and clear. So now with this strategically placed box, the driver can see out of all the windows uh, and safely drive the vehicle on and off the truck as he sees fit throughout his trip. Uh, and if somebody's passing by, they're not just gonna look at this one little box and say, hey, let me break in a whole car. This is the best way to do it. Also, weight is an issue. So if you or your customer pack up the vehicle full of stuff, whether it's books, clothes, items from the kitchen, things like that, weight really builds up. The driver has six to eight other vehicles on the truck. And if everyone has done this, now that truck could possibly be overweight. If all the vehicles on the truck are weighed down a little bit more than they're supposed to be, the estimated weight for each vehicle, that driver could face tickets and some other issues and maybe even have to take some things out of your vehicle. So please repeat after me, I will ship all my personal items with the household goods truck, uh, with the company that I trust, a moving and storage company that would get the job done and also make sure that all of my things are insured. Have a great day. Don't pack anything in the car.